Hi, everyone. This is Arthur at Arthur Ease Your Mind here on YouTube. First of all, a great big thank you, thank you, thank you for all the likes, the shares, the comments, the encouraging words, the subscriptions, and everything else. You guys have really made me feel welcome with open arms, and I really appreciate it. I just hope I can live up to your expectations. So here we go. In the meantime, yes, let me say this. I did post a new guided meditation this week called Crystal Clear Clarity. And you might want to check that out. Also, the next one I'm working on in the meantime, it's not your typical guided meditation. It's more like a grief meditation. Unfortunately, I've had some clients that have lost loved ones, friends, and they've asked me if I can help them through this. So I've come up with one called Honoring Memories, Finding Peace. So that should be up for the next three weeks. So that being said, let's move on. So it's August 3rd. Something little thing happened with Trump today or something? Is that what you're talking about? It? Of course it did. Now, while some people say I should be gleeful and happy and proud, and I am in some ways, that yes, this man may get his commitments. In the meantime, it's sad. It's a sad day. When you think about someone like this was elected as our president and he did these things against our country, allegedly, for entertainment purposes only. But it's still a scary proposition that people are thinking, oh my God, what if he's the next president? I don't see it. I really do not see it. But that being said, we still have to stay on top of things. We still have to get the word out. We still have to be diligent and just vote and vote and vote for progressive people to get this country back on track. The MAGA people can hate me. So what? Obviously, if you're watching this channel, you know that that's not what I'm about. So... Like a tire relief. Jack he knows what he's doing. It's going to happen. Also, where I feel he was brilliant is the fact that he could have had a gazillion things against Mr. Trump. And he didn't. He just picked four. And those four are going to stick. If he had more than that, it would have gotten convoluted. So he whittled it down. I also find it fascinating that it's 45 pages long. And we're talking about President 45. It's double space. So when you get a chance, please, please read it. It's it's fascinating. It's a quick read. So please read the 45 pages and you will be shocked as to what's been going on if you haven't read them already. It's one thing to hear people talk about on TV or radio or podcast. It's another to actually sit down and read it. It's chilling. So that being said, let's move on. I asked for questions and I got some. So let's move on. John Holden writes, believe me, I am not John Holden. You were right about the 27th. And on Linda G's show, you said something else was going to come down in one to two weeks after that. So August 1st fits into your timeline. Congrats. So when is he going to get face the music in Georgia? Well, John, he's going to face the music. I feel that things go down with Bonnie William, Bonnie Willis by the 23rd to the 28th of this month, more towards the 28th. I really feel things will be filed. I know she's ready. She's ready to go. She's ready to just come out of the gate running. But she also has a lot more at stake more so than Jack. She has a bevy of beautiful things she has to bring forward from Giuliani to all the clown car people. And it's going to get messy. You know what? She's on top of it. It's going to work. So by the end of this month of August, that should be number four or number 45. Moving on. Pat Lee. Uh, she writes, thanks, Arthur. I just don't have any more political and or world event questions left in me. 
get in line, pick a number. I'm worn out. Not that I don't care. Not that I wouldn't listen to high quality readers and leaders like yourself. Just that for me personally, I'd rather focus on the spiritual. So I'm just chiming in to wish you well, to publicly salute Jack Smith, and to send love to all beings in all galaxies across all space and time. Thank you, Pat. That's beautiful. It really, really is. There are times when I think all of us get overwhelmed and say we can't take much more. But as Mother Teresa once said, God is not going to give us anything more than we can handle. I just wish he didn't have so much faith in me. Have faith in ourselves. And we're going to get through this together. Timber Body Tyke. Hi, Arthur. Thank you for sharing your gifts with us. Most wouldn't argue that a very poor diet and years of anger, rage could shorten a lifespan. Do you see the orange menace alive by election day in 2024? Well, Marianne, to be totally honest with you, you have to have a heart to die. I don't think this man has a heart. But that being said, I've always felt that his health is not in the best place. And even if he were to get the nomination, I did say that, didn't I? He won't win, but also I feel health-wise, he may not be able to cross the finish line in any way, shape, or form. And on one show, I did say you have to be alive to be president. I don't wish him ill. Well, I don't wish any ill will towards him or anyone. We have to send bright light and all that good stuff so that we don't become part of them, that we separate ourselves and honor them as we honor ourselves as love and light. I know that sounds like airy fairy stuff, but it does work. So thanks for that, Marianne. Oh, Marianne writes, sorry. Hey, Arthur. I'm sure you'll get a lot of questions about today's indictment. No, I was dead. I haven't heard a thing. I would like to know if the January 6th trial, today's indictment, will happen before the 2024 elections. Fingers crossed. Thanks so much. And I hope all is great in your world. Thank you. Well, to be honest with you, again, I feel Jack Smith was brilliant to only go after four things. There may be unnamed co-conspirators, but it's clean. It's slick. And like I said, read the indictment. It's going to go fast. The judge in DC, no nonsense. This is going to be done, I will say, by June, July of 2024. And that's fast. But it is also before the election. And it doesn't matter what Georgia is doing, what New York is doing, what Florida is doing. Florida, I feel, is just going to be like you know, trudging along. But they're not going to be singing the song. And also that it's all going to come crashing down on this man for all these alleged things that he has done. Caitlin Z. My question is, do you see a third party presidential running for 2024 ruin the Democrats' re-election? Really concerned. Is the democracy is at stake? No. I don't see a third party this time around. I feel there can be in time a new party or actually an evolved Republican party. But once, you know, the cray crays get locked away in the nut house or anywhere else. But at the same time, I'm not seeing a third party right now. But on the offshoot that there were, I don't think it would hurt Biden. I feel people come forward and be like, we don't want Trump. And there would 
I think more disillusioned Trump people, especially when everything starts coming out about, you know, all the things they've been delusional about and they start seeing what the reality is. They may not like what they see. So, and of course he's going to be crying and whining and crying and whining. It's like that big balloon of a baby Trump that was flying over London. I mean, basically the bottom line is Mr. Trump, get off the cross. We need the wood so we can build a bridge to get out of here. Thank you. Okay. Moving along. Hmm. Gladys. Well, hello, Arthur. My question is, when will all these uninformed people of Congress be removed or just get the out? I'm sorry for the ugly face. I'm really trying to be nice about this whole nasty situation. I think we need something to really celebrate. We celebrate democracy. And... Yes, I do feel there are people in Congress that will be going, bye-bye. I also feel there are some indictments that are coming down that they don't even know about. It's separate cases. But some people are not going to be going home for Christmas, is what I read. Or if they do, it's to pack their bags and not return. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that resonates. So it's a little bit to celebrate. Actually, I got two questions here. Kathy Holcomb. Hi, Arthur. I am looking forward to your next video. Get in line, pick a number. My question is regarding Melania. After listening to a Stephanie Walkoff, Melania's ex-close friend, who said Melania knows exactly what 45 was doing and says that one of the text messages related released that were related to Merlago sounds exactly what Melania would text. So my question is, will she get caught up in 45's legal trouble? Thank you. And my other question was from Sweetie Darling Lulu commented, where is Melania? Well, folks, Melania's the hairdressers. Really? She's getting her hair done. Why do I know this? You don't need to be psychic. The bottom line is when, remember a couple of weeks ago when it came out that the pack, the Save America pack was paying over like $40 million to all these lawyers. Well, interesting enough, one of the line items was to a political consultant for $108,000. $108, That's right, $108,000 that was divided into monthly payments. So that's basically $9,000 a month. And that political consultant is Melania's hairdresser. So that she might get a little bit in trouble in. Also the fact, if you really look at it, I mean, she was paid for one night's work, for one night, $155,000 for a speech. I mean, that's a lot of money. So, I mean, the grift that keeps on grifting. I mean, yeah, I do feel that she's like, you know, there's some stuff coming, coming down around her. Maybe not as much. Uh, because she maybe flips on her husband and she doesn't get indicted. Who knows? But we will see. Ooh, this is a good one. Crazy Shark 22. Hi, Arthur. Who do you see as the president and VP winning in 2028? Honestly, I don't feel that Camilla Harris is going to be running at that time. She'll have only been eight years as vice president. But I don't see a Republican getting in either. My wish list would be Gavin Newsom. And Meg uh, Gretchen Whitmer, the governor of Michigan, as VP. That would be my wish list. And I don't think I'm that far off with Gavin Newsom. So time will tell. But the good news is we'll still be standing. We'll still have a republic. We'll still have a democracy in 2028 so that we can vote and nothing's going to be stolen. So 
Thank you for that, crazy shark. Now, Alexis, ooh, I can't say that too loud. My lights will go on. Alexis, will Ivanka and Jared be indicted? Does the Pope live in the Vatican? Uh, I would say yes to this. I really would. However, they might not get, I mean, Ivanka may not get as harsh of an indictment because I honestly believe she slipped on her father. And I feel Jared is as well in his own way. So he's going to flip out when he learns that his daughter and his son-in-law flipped out on him. But I still feel there's something hovering around Jared. Something to do with Saudi Arabia. And I've always felt that, I hate to say it, entertainment purposes only again. But there was something about Saudi Arabia, Kushner, and Khashoggi. That was never resolved. And I feel upstairs is going to make that happen. And he will be brought to justice. They all will be brought to justice one way or another. You know, I I believe in karma. I just want to see it in this lifetime, not the next one. But we will see on that one. Uh, Alexis also asks, what is DeSantis's future? I don't know if, I don't know. I don't see the man being around over the next five years in politics. I feel they're going to run him out of town. Because every time I look at this, I always see that scene from the Frankenstein monster movies where the, the townsfolk have the pitchforks and torches. And he's running and he's wearing these cute little white boots. And he's trying to get out of town with his wife. But no, he's... He also is going to get his day with what he's done in rewriting history, rewriting the world. I mean, the whole thing with the Republican Party at this time is his personal opinion. I just find it freaky that here they are trying to basically say that slavery, that slavery was basically a work program. Like, ooh, be a slave. We can give you a work program. You can be a blacksmith or something like that. And the thing is, they're taking the knowledge away from kids. They don't want them to know what slavery is. And sooner or later, it just feels like they're trying to line kids up to be slaves and be glad for it. That's a work program. Why do I say this? Because they're fighting the child labor laws. They're trying to get them out off the books. I mean, Wisconsin, they're trying to allow that 14 year olds can now serve liquor. I mean, please, that's crazy. And that's Republicans. My personal opinion. So anyway. Hi, Arthur. Love you and Linda G. I love her. Great energy. My question is, Will we be flung into a plastic debit no cash society anytime soon? Many readers are hinting about this. Just curious as to when this may happen. Thank you. Honestly, that sounds like something that you find from QAnon. A conspiracy. Granted, when Nixon got rid of the, the gold standard, things have been a little bit crazy. But I do not see all of a sudden cash is gone, coins are gone, and everything's on a debit card. And every, I don't see it, at least not in my lifetime. And I hope to be around at least 20 more years. I'm 66. So we'll see what happens. So that's basically it for the night, my friends, my Arthurites. <laughs> As my one friend said, call them Martha Rights. So there you go. Again, thank you for all the support, the love, and the kindness that you've shown me. And I hope I've been able to put a smile on your face a little bit and brighten your world and made you think. So again, thank you. And take care of yourselves. Since no one else will. And as always, have fun. And stay safe. Bye-bye.